Yep, start. Okay, all right. So we are firing up the Rosemount 268 heart communicator. We're going to do a trim on the sensor of this transmitter. It's Rosemount 3051. So it keeps complaining here that the analog output is outside the range points. We are dialing in 30 PSI. What is the range of this transmitter set to? Zero to a thousand inches. Zero to a thousand inches? Okay, someone may have ranged it for some lower pressure than 30. So let's see if I can get past this override. There we go. And proceed. It's saying here that we need to upgrade this to access all the new features, but we should be able to do what we need from here. Okay, proceed. So I'm going to go into the format menu. Under format, it's going to warn me, put the control loop in manual. Yeah, sure. I want to do digital trim. And under digital trim, I can do output trim or sensor trim. I'll choose sensor trim. I can do a full or a zero. So what I'd like to do is a full trim right now, since we're already up our, our high pressure. Here are the last values used. The last per person did this at zero and 36 PSI. We're doing at zero and roughly 30 PSI, so we're pretty close. I'm gonna do a high trim. And notice we already have our pressure connected, 29.993 PSI. It's settled there, it's very, very stable. So I'm very comfortable with that. I'm gonna press the high trim button. Apply a high value pressure, well, we already have, and I will proceed. It's now stabilizing, it's averaging those pressure readings as it reads the 29.993 PSI. And pretty soon it will tell us what it thinks it reads. It thinks it's seeing 29.985, so it is actually a little bit off. I'm going to type in 29.993, which is what we've been applying to it all this time. And I'll hit enter. <laughs> now it says low trim. Let's go ahead and do a low trim. So shut off the air pressure. What I will do is set this to the side. I will bleed off all the pressure by undoing one of the tube connections. We could have also moved our manifold and vented through the manifold, but this is easy. So now would you agree we have zero pressure applied to our transmitter? Okay. I want to do a low trim. The low trim here, apply a low value pressure. So I proceed. It's now again stabilizing. So when you do this, you want to make sure you're not subjecting your transmitter to vibration or anything else that could possibly be interpreted as a pressure. Interapplied low value. It thought I was applying 0 0.026. In reality, I was applying 0.0000. So I enter that and press enter. We have now done a full trim of the sensor of that transmitter. So now it knows what zero PSI looks like and it knows what 29.993 PSI looks like. So now when we apply a pressure, we ought to see that digital value correctly displayed. I'm all done with this now, I hit the end. I'm going to abort, get out of the sensor trim. I'm gonna end out of that, exit. Loop may be returned to auto, I'll proceed. And now I'm back on my start menu. I'm gonna hit the process variable button right here. So now we're gonna read what it thinks it's reading for pressure. And indeed, right now, it thinks it's reading zero PSI, which it's vented, so it is reading zero PSI. Okay, hold this for me. I'm going to reconnect this, and what I'm gonna do is have someone turn on the air pressure again. Okay. Analog output outside range points. Well, that's fine. We'll just override that. It thinks it's reading 30.045 PSI. We are actually applying 30.014. It's not quite stabilized yet. I keep having to override this alarm. 30.007, 30.000, 30 30.033. We're awfully close. I'm going to go to uh, process variable here, so we see the process variable. If I turn my regulator down, I don't care what pressure I'm going to, I'm just going to read the fluke and read the communicator and see if they agree within a reasonable tolerance. So according to the fluke, how much pressure do we have? 
14.14, and according to this, we have 14.16. That's a very small percentage error. I'm comfortable with that. I'm going to turn it down even more. So what's doing now is interpolating between those two points that we programmed into it, 0 and the 29.993 PSI. It's accurate at those points. It's now interpolating in between. Currently, the fluke tells us we have 6.06 .06 PSI. I'm reading 6.07. Again, a very small, about one-sixth of a percent is the error we're looking at. Make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So now anywhere in between, it, between those points that we have trimmed the sensor, it should read accurately. Now I can go to my range points and see what we've actually ranged it to. The last person who ranged this transmitter ranged it for between 0 and 12. What that means is it will put out 4 milliamps when it thinks it sees 0, and it will put out 20 milliamps when it thinks it sees 12, and 12 milliamps when it thinks it sees 6. What we've done is we've corrected what it thinks it sees. We've corrected the actual pressure to the perceived pressure at the sensor. The range points is a whole other step. At this point, you can range this to any range you desire. You can tell I want it to be a 0 to 12 PSI, or 0 to 20, or 0 to 25, or 5 to 15, or whatever you want. Any points within that uh, trim range that you want on the sensor. And it will interpolate along that imaginary line it drew between those two calibration points. It will interpolate and scale the 420 points accordingly. Yeah, there's one over here.